it seems the Japanese forces don't waste any time. Since the attack on Pearl Harbor, they have expanded their offensive throughout the Pacific, managing to take Hong Kong and landing on Malaya, pushing the British forces all the way back to Singapore. The situation in the Dutch East Indies looks and is in fact dire. It will take nothing short of a miracle to organize a proper defense and hold the onslaught back. If the Japanese are able to secure the Dutch East Indies and Malaya, it will in theory provide them with an alternative source of natural resources. The American, British, Dutch command in the East Indies stands in their way, and we will do what we can to ensure Singapore, the Gibraltar of the East, does not fall. Allied aircraft, consisting of Brewster Buffaloes and Hawker Hurricanes, have flooded the Java Sea, scouring the area for any sign of Japanese forces. A large Allied task force, consisting of five destroyers, three heavy cruisers, and one light cruiser, have departed Australia carrying troops and supply. They will reinforce Singapore and skirmish with Japanese naval assets. The goal is to make life for the enemy as difficult as possible until more serious reinforcements can arrive into the theater. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to War on the Sea with the Abdicom mod. This mod adds an entire new campaign to War on the Sea. It allows you to play as the American, British, Dutch, and Australian forces and attempt to hold on to the Dutch East Indies and repel the Japanese offensive. Of course, this is a pretty difficult campaign, as it was in real life. In real life, the Western forces were not able to hold on to the Dutch East Indies, as we all know, and they were lost. However, we are going to attempt to rewrite history a little bit here. The campaign starts us off in a rather difficult situation. Singapore is already under siege. The Japanese forces have landed. We have 4,000 troops here and 1,000 supply. Palembang, down to the south in Sumatra, is the other city we really need to hold here. We have 1,600 troops here and 800 supply. The situation here is definitely pretty desperate. So we are going to attempt to reinforce these two cities. If I have to give one up, so be it. I would like to hold on to them and continue the fight, though. The issue is going to be resupplying these here cities. Additionally, Denpasar down here is looking pretty rough as well. We have 500 troops here and 100 supply. Um, holding this will be difficult as well. So the situation is we have lots of areas we need to resupply. Even here is not looking so good in Borneo, although I think we can lose Borneo and still achieve our victory condition. So we need to take control of Kopang and Singapore and maintain control of Surabaya and Palembang. So that's our objectives. We need to build a rank five airfield on Singapore and hold out until reinforcements arrive on the 28th of March. That is a tall order, that's for sure. I am willing to give up Borneo to achieve this uh, objective though. Regardless, down here in Australia, we have our task force, which is on the way. Task Force 13, which consists of five destroyers, three heavy cruisers, and one light cruiser. They are also loaded up with troops and supply, and objective number one is probably going to be unloading all of the supply at Palembang and maybe saving some for Singapore. The situation at Singapore looks okay for the time being. Uh, we'll see how that lasts. Of course, the Japanese could land troops tonight, and the situation will drastically change. We started off with 100 command points, which allow us to purchase ships, and we are now down to four. Task Force 13, which I am now going to rename, actually. We're just going to call it Task Force A here. Um, this pretty much took up the vast majority of our command points, as you can see. All right, and now to the current situation. We'll get a little bit of time compression going. We are going to have our first strike. There was a Japanese task force spotted in the middle of the Java Sea, consisting of six ships, moving 22 knots, consisting of maybe one light cruiser and three destroyers. This is a feature that has been recently added to War on the Sea. You don't get completely accurate intelligence on task forces, which is awesome. That's a pretty nice feature. There have been quite a few quality of life improvements since our last series. Okay, 
Well, we have some Hudsons here. We have six Hudsons, each carrying a two 500 pound semi-armor piercing bombs. Let's go get them. Our first strike of the series, and it's nice and dark. Okay, and, and additionally, let's keep flying this way. Additionally, with this mod, there is a new resupply system. So the losses of our aircraft are much more serious. We want to avoid losing as many aircraft as possible. However, looking here, it does look like the scouting report was correct. We have three destroyers and one light cruiser. And it's a pretty old light cruiser and the destroyers are relatively new. However, I think we may be able to sink ourselves a light cruiser. We are going to skip bomb. I was thinking of level bombing to ensure the safety of our Hudsons. However, let's uh, let's get a victory right off the bat to improve morale. We're going to dive down to the deck and prepare to engage. We're going to try to hit this light cruiser on its port side. Our Hudsons are now on the deck. We are turning onto the target. I am going to give the Hudsons the attack order here. And I want them all to attack individually, like so. Perfect. This other formation of Hudsons, number five and six, go ahead and engage. And that's going to be a lot of semi-armor piercing bombs coming at this guy. I think it is certainly going to break him. What is this, a Tenryu? I am not exactly sure. Let's go to Japanese warships. Make sure we identify it correctly here. Here we go. Triple stacker, one gun forward, one gun aft, two. Yep, I am going to rock with that. Okay, Hudsons are closing in, not taking a triple A fire just yet which is quite surprising. I wonder when the Japanese AA gunners are going to start opening up. Okay, it looks like the AA is opening up on the destroyers first, and then the small caliber AAA on the light cruiser is now going. Here we go. Good luck, boys. Bombs away. Bam. Okay, one hit towards the bow. The other four Hudsons are coming in. That looks like a pretty critical hit there. Okay, one Hudson went down, smashed right amidships. And I think that is a dead light cruiser. We lost a total of two Hudsons thus far. The rest of the three are getting out of there. Wow, okay, losses were pretty high there. Only three Hudsons survived. 50% casualties for the cost of a light cruiser. Yeah, that's why maybe I should have level bombed. We want to avoid losses if at all possible, but I think it's safe to say this thing is absolutely going down. That one Hudson slamming directly amidships right underneath funnel number two there has to be pretty devastating. And it looks like she is slowed down to a dead stop. Yep, she is now moving zero knots and taking on water extremely rapidly. Well, here we have it. She is officially going down. She is burning from stem to stern and finally took on enough water. Her bow is slowly slipping beneath the waves. That is our first victory. We lost three aircraft, but I think it was worth it just to get the first jab in there.
It is now February 2nd, 1942. After the small engagement in the Java Sea, the night was uneventful. However, we have an encounter here, up here near Singapore. Eight ships, slow, one heavy cruiser, maybe three light cruisers. Additionally, it looks like there are aircraft en route. Let's bring these hurricanes over here. New air. We have six buffaloes that we can scramble and swordfish. I guess we can try to do a torpedo run on... Oh my gosh, the casualties are going to be pretty bad here. That being said, let's take out these bombers or whatever these are. Singapore, new air. Let's launch, yeah, eight swordfish with torpedoes. Have them head towards the Japanese contacts. What do we have down here in Palembang that we can scramble? Hudson's. Hudson's, yeah. Let's go ahead and do Hudson's with two 500 pound semi armor piercing bombs. Get them up there. Now, I'm wondering if there are eight ships here, slow speed. I'm wondering if there are freighters carrying troops. If that's the case, that will be our primary target. We'll have our hurricanes come over there. Maybe they'll be able to do some strafing. We'll see. The situation will be interesting. We'll see how it plays out. Our task force is still heading up into the Java Sea. They made some progress in the night, but uh, it's going to take a while for them to get into the theater. Our swordfish are in attack position. We are going to position them to come around and attack our Japanese friends here. We have buffaloes coming in and hurricanes. Let's take a look at the fleet composition here. We do have a heavy cruiser here. That would be a nice target. But there are freighters. There are, in fact, freighters. That's going to be the main target because these are guaranteed to be carrying troops and supply. And we want to prevent as many troops and supply from landing on Singapore. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to be attacking any of the big heavy hitting stuff. It looks like there are two heavy cruisers inside of this Japanese task force. Well, let's take out the freighters first and any follow up attacks will focus on the heavy cruisers, hopefully knocking them out of action so they have to go back to at least repair. Our buffaloes are starting to take some AAA fire. I have them turning around. They got a little too close here. The plan is to have the fighters drag the AAA while the swordfish come in and conduct their torpedo runs. The swordfish are still a little ways out, although they are dropping down to altitude as we speak. Unfortunately, the task force is changing course. Honestly, the whole dragging flak operation may come down to our hurricanes here. Let's have them speed up. I feel more comfortable letting the hurricanes drag the flak. The buffaloes are not the fastest things. That being said, let's have them firewall it a little bit. Get out of get out of the combat area. Run away from that flak, and let's see what our targets are going to be. Looks like. Target number 9, 8, and 10. Yeah, these are all freighters. We will prioritize 9 and 8 for this attack run. And what are they shooting at? Are they shooting at our swordfish already? Wow, it looks like they are. Okay, hurricanes. Break course. Head over there. Start dragging. Good luck, brave little swordfish. I believe in you. Honestly, attacking... Uh, <laughs> this is going to be rough. Okay, turn in towards nine. Go get them. The good thing is the British torpedoes are at least pretty reliable. Hopefully, uh, duds are limited. Okay, these swordfish keep heading towards number eight. Okay, hurricanes are dragging all sorts of stuff. Good. As long as the majority of the flak is off of our swordfish, then we're good. The 
Swordfish are closing in on their target. Torpedoes away. There we go. All right, our fish are away. Turn off. Break, break, break. To the right. Okay, these swordfish are coming in. Do I want them to go for the tanker? This looks like a tanker to me. I'm wondering which merchant ship here is the most valuable. Okay, just turn in on number eight. Go get them. Let's take a look. These torpedoes look pretty good. Okay, closing in on the freighter. Taking lots of flack now. Torpedo impact. There we go. Got one hit there. All right, torpedoes away. That's a good drop. All right, break off. Get out of here. Okay, we got a single hit on target nine. It's up in flames. Target eight looks like it is going to get hit pretty bad here as well. Hopefully at least one torpedo lands. Maybe two, that would be fantastic and would ensure uh, the ship is going down. All right, let's look at number eight here. She's pretty slow. Let's look at our fish. Oh wow, it's really shallow here too. Come on, give me two hits. One, dud. All right. Well, that's a shame. Oh my gosh. Number nine was struck by a dud torpedo as well. So we had one dud on target eight and then one on nine with one actually hitting number nine. Wow. That is extremely unfortunate. We'll see if this cargo ship ends up going down. The good news is we did not lose a single aircraft for this attack. We are now clear to leave the combat area. Let's go ahead and do that. You can see we only damaged one ship. It has heavy damage and heavy flooding though, so at least there is that. We did not lose a single aircraft, which is also good news. Follow-up strikes will be conducted. Let's have all of these aircraft RTB and we'll see what the Japanese end up landing at Singapore. We have some air combat. We have an encounter here with Japanese aircraft. Have our buffaloes engage. We have hurricanes en route as well. Come over here and start engaging. It looks like Japanese Zeros have been encountered here. It looks like they're going to tangle with all of our buffaloes and hurricanes. There's only four of them. We just got this encounter and we already lost a buffalo. Okay, well. <laughs> Thankfully the hurricanes are en route. Come, oh my goodness. How many Zeros are there? Well, that's not good. Let's go ahead and issue that retreat order. That is a lot of zeros. That's insane. There's got to be a carrier around then. This has to be an entire carrier uh, air wing, which is quite unfortunate for our hurricanes and buffaloes. We can retreat in 80 seconds, so we'll see how many we can shoot down in that amount of time because this is quite the fur ball we have going on here. And it looks like, yeah, things are, things are getting out of hand here. Losing aircraft, really just dancing around in the skies here though. One minute to go, another a hurricane was downed. Yeah, there's a lot of Japanese aircraft here. I was not expecting that, at least 20. I did not expect to see that. Well, we're going to get our uh, teeth kicked in a little bit here. We're shooting down a few of them, though. And I guess good news is the Japanese are going to have a harder time replenishing their air wing on their carriers than we are for our land-based aircraft, so there is that. For every land-based aircraft we lose, I believe it costs one engineering and one fuel. 
per aircraft, so. Yeah, not good at all. All right, 16 seconds. We have a lot of our buffaloes are still around. We lost quite a few hurricanes. The hurricanes got jumped by a large portion of aircraft. All right, we're going to disengage. Three seconds. And we'll see what the losses are. Okay, let's leave combat. Okay, 12 aircraft in. We lost six. 21 aircraft from the Japanese, and they lost three. Continue. Wow, that was unexpected. Okay, go ahead and RTB. We have these Hudsons en route with semi-armor piercing bombs. No, no, keep heading this way. I want you to hit these, uh, these merchant ships. Okay. Yeah, the situation around Singapore is interesting. We don't have any fuel. Let me check the rules here. One fuel and one engineering and 10 per supplies per replenished airfield plane. Hmm, so we need fuel at Singapore. Do I have fuel down here? I don't have fuel down here. So we need a tanker. That's really what we need. We have five command points. I don't think we can actually afford a tanker just yet. So the situation for our air force around Singapore is going to be pretty rough <laughs> for for a little bit here. Let's have those aircraft uh, head back. I was not expecting to be jumped by 20 Japanese aircraft, that's for sure. Our Hudsons are in the area. We are going to try to level bomb. I do not want to lose these guys. So one group of Hudsons is going to hit target eight. One group of Hudsons will hit seven. We'll bomb from our current altitude. Looks like one kilometer up. Hopefully we can get a few hits here. Here we go. Hudsons are closing in on the targets. Starting to take lots of AAA at this point as we close in. Let's see, Bombay doors are still closed. Which one are these? These guys are going for seven. You know what? Finish off eight, hit eight. I may have, hopefully that adjustment wasn't too quick. We want to finish off the one that's already damaged. Okay, bombs away. Did we really lose one? Wow, one Hudson going down. Come on, give me something good here. Okay, we got a hit. A single hit amidships. These Hudsons are going for seven. That's fine. There we go. The ship's on fire. Okay, bombs away. Let's see if we get anything on this little guy. Here's hoping. I know this level bombing's pretty inaccurate. Yeah, there we go, just missed. Okay, well we only lost one aircraft. We got a bomb hit. This cargo ship's on fire. Has received a single torpedo hit as well. I'll see if it's uh, able to cope with that sort of damage. Let's look at the report. Critical damage, heavy flooding, we'll see. I'd love to bag a cargo ship at this point. The less troops that make it to Singapore, the better. Well, here we go. The Japanese cargo ship is finally confirmed as going down. She is starting to slip beneath the waves. That is one less cargo ship able to unload its supplies at Singapore, so we will take this small victory. We'll really take anything we can get at this point. Well, the Japanese forces are closing in on Singapore. I'm interested to see what they will do. We can't scramble aircraft just yet. If I could, I'd scramble more swordfish. Okay, there we go. 
Enemy troops have landed at Singapore. They have also bombarded the port. Let's see here. Can't launch aircraft after it's been bombarded. Well, that is pretty darn rough. We can see. I wonder how many troops the Japanese did actually drop off at Singapore. But the situation is not looking fantastic. Thankfully, Task Force A is on the way. And they will be able to drop off their troops and supply in the coming days. Singapore is not yet lost. Well, folks, that is going to do it for episode number one of our War on the Sea series with the Abdicom mod. I do hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, especially on the first episode of a new series. It really helps out the channel a lot. Anyway, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.